I think everyone that's Scottish is just really patriotic. Um, we celebrate the good times and the bad times. It means everything to play for Scotland. Um, it's a dream come true for me personally and for my family as well. It means everything, you know, like being a kid and having no idea that I could play football as a job to now playing for my country. It's, I'm really proud and it's an honour. It's a really proud moment for myself and the rest of my family and yeah, I'm delighted every single time that I get the opportunity to pull the shirt on. Playing for Scotland is, for me, the biggest honour you can get. Um, I love my country, I'm really proud of my country, so to walk out there and represent them is, yeah, it's everything, really. My best moment in a Scotland shirt has to be representing Scotland at the World Cup. It was just an amazing experience. I think my best moment was walking out um, to play against England at the World Cup and you just heard the fans um, singing No Scotland, No Party and uh, yeah, that's a, a moment that I'll never forget probably. Best moment's probably my debut back in 2010. I just came up from the under 19 so to make that step up so quickly was, was a privilege. Probably the best moment in a Scotland shirt so far for me would be when we qualified for the World Cup in Albania. I think like just the whole day and the occasion, the fact that we didn't actually know if we'd qualified until the end of the, the game, um, yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I've got a lot. Actually, my mum has them um, and a few obviously given away to, to different charities or people that have asked for them. My mum keeps everything. She's uh, my biggest fan. She's also Erin Cuthbert's biggest fan, more than me. Um, but yeah, no, my family are real proud. Yeah, so my mum keeps all of my Scotland shirts. I think she's got one of like every different shirt that I've had on um, for most of the games. Uh, I've got all my caps as well at home with my mum. She keeps them all in a, in a cupboard and I think we've got a few up in the house as well. So yeah, they're all there somewhere. Yeah, I, I tend to keep all of them actually. Um, I never got the chance to keep my debut shirt because my mum and dad stole it off me so they could frame it on the wall. So yeah, I, I tend to keep them all. I have all my World Cup shirts framed and of course my debut shirt as well. And I keep the other ones in a drawer nicely. It's an unbelievable moment, um, being able to sign in front of fans, friends and family and wearing the shirt um, with pride and singing the anthem, it's just a, a moment that you never get bored of, I guess. It's an honour every time you walk out with the team and, and line up and look up at the stands and see the fans and your family, it's a real privilege and, and one that I'll cherish. I just, I just get goosebumps all over my body. I, I, I've probably got them now just thinking about it. Um, of, of course, it's an incredible honour, like I said, even just representing your country, but when you're singing that national anthem, it's, it's amazing and it's one that we all love doing. I feel like that's probably the best bit about playing for your country. Like sometimes like when you come in and you've been you're in a professional environment every single day, that doesn't really hit you until you're singing a national anthem in front of the fans and stuff. What it really means to play for Scotland in that moment's truly special. I think my first football memory probably is playing in the garden at home with my sister. She played football as well when we were younger and just playing with the kids on the street in the neighbourhood. Playing with the boys at school, really. Um, I was always with boys and, um, yeah, just kicking the ball about with them, really. So that's probably my, my earliest memories of playing football. The memories I remember are when I was a kid and outside playing football with my brother, um, probably every night. Uh, that's uh, the first memories I have of playing football. My first football memory would probably be, like, I used to be a ball girl for East Fife and we used to go down and you got, like, a pie and a packet of crisps at half time and it was the best day ever. My first football memory, um, probably, yeah, probably just playing in, in the street um, where I lived. We always were out playing, all the kids in, in the street with, with footballs and we used to smash it against my dad's wall. Um, so probably getting screamed at for that. Good question. Um, I think it's just something that I, I started when I was a kid and, and always loved and my love for it grew more and more. And, um, and now I'm playing full-time full football and, and it's something that I love and I always have loved. I love football because it's my passion. I make all my friends from football. It's something I want to do. I want to work and play football. I want to, I want to do this for as long as I can and for until I have to retire. I love football because obviously playing as part of a team um, you share all the highs with, with everyone and when you have lows it's also shared and easier to take and 
everyone kind of understands each other. So I think the, the team aspect for me is I really like to be part of a team. I love football because I'm lucky enough to play it every day and live my dream.